gotta be truthful. Oh God. You have to answer these questions to the truth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, before. I'm just kidding, they're not even bad. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. So, ready? <coughs> ready. Clear your throat. <laughs> that wasn't even healthy. <laughs> That was so gross. Uh, ready? <laughs> okay. Okay, hold Three, on. Three. Hopefully my face isn't oily. Three, two. Hey guys, so we are here to do the Q&A questions and answers video, which is what Q&A stands for. So obviously. So we're... Q&A answers? That is yeah. terrible. <laughs> so we're here to answer you guys' questions. I had posted a video asking... Um, for you guys to ask questions a while back. I think it was maybe like two months ago It's been a long time and I had them all written down on here mm. And I feel we filmed it right we filmed it. Yeah, I, I think it was longer than two months Okay, I don't even it was know a long time ago. It was a long time ago. We filmed it and then I deleted it on accident So here we are doing it all over again. Um so yeah, he's going to be here for the first couple questions that are pretty much questions for him or questions for both of us. So he's going to be here for, I think it's four questions, and then it will be me the rest of the video. Mm. So the first question for you, Chris, is, Chris, what's up with those funny faces you always make? Behind you? Everywhere, and all my videos. Anytime I... the camera's on you, you make some sort of funny face. Because, um, I don't know. It's a good question. We'll ask him. I think it's just his personality. It's just True. the type of guy he is. I like to mess with Nancy, so whenever she's he likes editing, to mess. she's like, really? Really? Yeah, because he thinks it's so funny. He's like that all the time, whether the camera's on him or not. Yeah, true. But I feel like he does it more when the camera's on me, or on when I'm filming, because he thinks it's so funny for me to go back when I'm editing, because usually whenever he's doing all these silly things, it's behind me and I don't see so I don't see until I edit or until I go rewatch the video and I see that he did something so he thinks that's hilarious so it's just his personality the type of guy he is Chris where do you get all your goofiness from I would say from my dad's side of the family and but your dad's not really like he jokes around a lot True. well it's a combination of both because they joke around equally but combined, it's just like, what? Too much. Then you get Chris. Yes, then you get me. And I think Abby's following in his footsteps. And yours. You're crazy too. I'm <laughs> not that bad. Not like you. Would you and Chris do the egg challenge? If the eggs aren't expensive, you know, the economy. <laughs> Come on, guys. Um, he I'd doesn't want to waste eggs. I'm, I'm the type of person that really doesn't like to do kind of like challenges. But I'm willing to do it. I saw a six pack of eggs for a dollar something. Can't beat that. I'm probably need more than that. So yeah. What are you talking about? I'm trying to convince him to do it. Um, I'm down for it. I don't know what she's talking so, about. So, well then I guess it looks like you guys will be seeing an egg challenge video for me and Chris. I don't even know really what the whole egg challenge video is, but I'm going to go watch some. I know I think I saw um, 2011 teenage mom Vanessa do it. So I think I'm going to go back and watch a couple of egg challenges to see. I've been trying to get him to do the yoga challenge too. No. If you guys have not seen a yoga challenge, you guys <clears throat> need to definitely go check that out because they're so funny. It's people who most of the time don't know anything about yoga and you just try to do these poses and most of the time you just fail. It's just so funny to watch them try to do it and then fail or just how long it takes them. I think it wouldn't even be funny to just be like a fail for us. But it'd be funny for the viewers. <laughs> Chris, when are you going to pop the question? That concludes my segment. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't know. I, I know how I'm going to, if that helps. It, that kudos to me, right? Um, you've thought out some of it, right? I've already thought of it all. I mean, I already know exactly how I'm going to do it. Well, I'm saying you've thought out the part of how you're going to do it. Just yeah, not when. Not the day. It's, just, it's just not a good time because you want to get your family everything they want. Not want, but... You want to have like a house and everything settled. That way you won't be rushing to get married because we would just want to kind of get married once. So it would be like a big wedding yeah. and we won't have to stress about paying it off because we'll be in a great standing. But it is coming in the future. Don't know when, don't know where. Well, I know where, but don't know how. Wait, I do know how. So I don't know when. That's all for me. If you have any more questions, 
Leave down, me down below. below. But anyways, um, I'll see y'all next time. Uh, good chat. And my name is spelled with a K. Yeah, his name is spelled with a K. A lot of people spell his name with the C C H R I S. No hard feelings. And it's K R I S. So. But it's okay. It happens all the time. Every time he goes somewhere, fill out papers. Yes, say it's Chris with a K because otherwise nobody would know. True. So but anyways, yeah. that's all Chris time is gonna for get me. Going. I will see you later. Shoot fly. All right, guys, so we're here to do the rest of the questions. I'm going to try to fly by these and not explain them super much because my camera is about to die, so hopefully it does not die in the middle of this. And if it does, then next time I finish filming this video, I'll be wearing something different. So the first question is, how do you do you plan on putting Addie in preschool this fall? Not this fall. This fall she would be entering in, I guess, what people call pre-K-3, which here we call it um, Head Start. So, no, she's not going to be going to Head Start at a school. I'm going to be doing Head Start at home. Next year is when she would actually start preschool, preschool, um, and she will be going to a public school next year. Next question is, how often do you speak Spanish? Not as often as I guess I would like. Of course, here comes Ranger because the camera's out. Um, so, I don't really speak it that often. Most, most of my family speaks uh, English. Hey, baby. Addie's here. I don't know if you guys can probably yeah. just see like the top of her bow. Um, but yeah, I don't speak it that often. Chris only speaks English. Um, he understands Spanish a little bit. But um, my dad speaks English most of the time. So we just mainly speak English every now and then. Like when I go to Austin, um, most of my family up there speaks Spanish. So up there I'll speak more Spanish. But um, I don't really speak it that often here. How is it being a stay-at-home mom? It's so awesome. I'm so blessed to be able to be a stay-at-home mom. <laughs> And I love it. Um, I'm so blessed that Chris is able to um, work and do most of the, bring most of the income into the house. And me being able to be at home and be stay at home mom because I love it. I love being here with Adeline. He thinks it's important for me to be here with her. I think it's important to, for me to be here with her. So that's something that we both agree on. Plan on going to work once Addie's in school. Once she starts full day school which won't be until kindergarten then yes I plan on either going back to school or uh, going to work I don't know what but yes um, public preschool or homeschooling like I said we're doing Head Start at home as homeschooling and homeschooling because it's really just Pinteresty and then um, preschool she will be going to public school how did you guys meet? We met senior year in our, through mutual friends in our history and math classes. We got to talking, so that's how we met in school. Um, next question is baby blues after Addie. Um, I didn't get them too bad. Every now and then I would, but it'd be just those, oh, let me borrow your baby, okay, here you go. Um, but I don't think I got them super, super bad. Next question is, how are the Terrible Twos going? Adeline has graduated from the Terrible Twos to the Three Mage years, the Terrible Threes, whatever you want to call it. That's where she's at. She is a little teenager walking around with that little teenager attitude. It's like She's like a teenager in a miniature size. That's what she is right now. They're not so bad. She does try to test us every now and then. But we're pretty good at putting a stop to it right away. And she's pretty good at learning what, knowing that when we're serious, we're serious. So they're not too, too bad. What's your potty training method? I have a video on how I potty trained Adeline. Adeline was potty trained at 18 months. So that video is way back. But I'm going to go ahead and link it down for you guys. So you guys can see my whole potty training method. Um, because it's kind of like a long explanation. Next question is, what's your religion? I am a Christian. Do you like cooking? Do I like it? As if, do I think it's fun? Not really, but I don't mind it. I Sometimes I'm like, I get in the mood to cook when I see like a new recipe or stuff like that. I think it's pretty fun. But I don't love being in the kitchen cooking all the time. Favorite foundation, right now my favorite foundation is the new Maybelline one. I'm not sure what it's called, but I will put the name of it down here. Um, but yeah, that's the new one I've been into and I really, really like. How long do you plan on waiting before baby number two? Um, probably in the next, <laughs> sorry if you see Adeline, she's like running around in here. Probably in the next two years, careful with the tripod, uh, be careful, you need to scoot back, okay, you can watch mommy from right there. 
Um, probably within the next two years, we want to, uh, that's when we're pretty much planning another baby. Um, we don't want them to be too, too far apart, but in two years, they'd be five years apart. Um, right? Yeah, five years apart. So that's further apart than I would like, but I don't feel like I'm, I don't know, like, I don't know if I'm, I wasn't like ready to have another baby like right away, like after Adeline. So yeah, sometime in the next two years for sure. What shampoo do you use for Addie's hair? Right now I'm using the Can Do shampoo. Um, I'm not too crazy about it. It's okay, but it's not all that. So if you guys have any recommendations on like what kind of shampoo you really like for your toddler, let me know down below. I'm not a fan of like the Johnson & Johnson stuff. Um, I've tried the Shea Moisture one and I really like that one, but um, I don't know. I don't feel like it's all that for the money that you pay for it. Um, what do you do a box swap anytime soon? Yes, I love box swaps. I have done a box swap with um, Yadi and family. I think that's her new name. Um, she used to be Latina Mommy of Three. And I also did one with Mbanda 20 with Melinda. And I love doing it. It was so fun just talking to them, getting to know them. And then it's just so fun shopping for them as you, you know, you kind of get to know other people's families through YouTube and try to shop for them like that. So it's really fun. I really like doing box swaps. So yes, I would. What do you use for birth, birth control and do you recommend it? I currently use Mirena birth control. Are you farting? <laughs> You're so stinky, you booger. <laughs> I currently use Mirena birth control. Do I recommend it? Um, I'm not really for it, but I'm not really against it. I, I'm not really for it just because I've heard so many like horror stories about it. Um, I'm sure if you look up Marina, you'll find all these things that are like people talk about all these horror stories. So that's kind of scary. Me personally, I haven't really had any bad experiences with it. I did have like will randomly have like bloating and like like really bad bloating like stomach bloating and cramps and stuff but um i haven't lately i don't think it's horrible horrible but it's definitely something that i'm going to be getting taken out sometime soon before the five years is up because it is a five-year birth control but i am no expert so if you guys want to know like about birth control and stuff i would just talk to your doctor and they'll help you decide what works best for you and what you're wanting to get out of it and stuff like that. Next question is dream job. I really don't know. I used to want to be a registered nurse until I had Adeline and then I decided that it's not something that, it's something that would take too much time away from my family. So I don't think I want to go back to be a registered nurse. I wanted to be a pediatric registered nurse. So I've thought about going to be a teacher or something like that, but I'm not exactly sure on what it is exactly that I want to do. So what's something that surprised you about motherhood, how rewarding it is, how the, begin the beginning of the day can start out so horrible with tantrums and like just like you feel like your day is so just crazy and your toddler is just behaving so badly but then like when they go up to you and cuddle you or like want to be with you and it just like takes it all away and it just melts your heart so it's just so awesome wedding theme for future wedding i have a whole pinterest board on my future wedding um i think it's called our happily ever after so i will leave the link down below to my pinterest and you guys can go look at my <laughs> pinterest board and find that one and you can scroll down everything that i've pinned so far and no more jumping Addie, and see kind of what i'm going through pretty much like a shabby chic kind of like southern type wedding um but yeah kind of like I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. Um, how old am I, or how old are you? I am 23, Chris? Yeah, I'm 23, I always have to ask Chris because I always forget how old I am. I'm 23, I'm going to be 24 this November. All right guys, so my camera ended up dying and it is now late, so the lighting is different. We just went to go buy some new lights, so hopefully it's pretty good, it looks good on the camera, so the lighting should be good and it shouldn't be bad. Um, so we left off on how is running your own daycare. Like I was saying, um, I don't really, it's more like just babysitting. I guess you can consider it like kind of like a daycare, but it's not technically a daycare. Um, and of course you're coming ranger again. Um, but it's really fun. It's stressful. 
at times because um, I do watch everybody that I watch is under three years well three or under um, Addie's the oldest one obviously and everybody else is under the age is two and under so um, it gets very stressful especially because they're in the terrible twos and the threes and all that stuff um, but it's really fun because Adeline has somebody to play with and they all love playing with each other. It's really fun like getting to know their little personalities and stuff. So I really like it and plus I'm able to stay home. Um, next question is how does Addie handle it? Um, she loves it. She, if I don't have the kids one day, she asks for them. She asks for a certain kids if they're not here. Um, she loves the company. She loves the being able to have friends to play with. Monday through Friday every single day so she loves it um, next question is the best parts and not so great parts the best parts are just seeing them all interact with each other having fun I have a blast with them I love um, teaching them things and like um, I love when we do music class or not music class but music time I love how they love learning like the new moves like the itty bitty spider and all that they love like learning that and they love dancing and all that so that's really fun and just like seeing how excited they get to do projects and stuff like that that's really fun I love it and the not so great parts are um, whenever they're having a bad day because they do have bad days and they will be fighting or stuff like that and it does get stressful but they're more good days and bad days age when pregnant when I was pregnant I was 19 but I turned 20 about three two to three months after I found out I was pregnant so whenever I actually had Adeline I was 20 um family's reaction Chris's family was pretty okay they weren't really like I mean they were kind of shocked but like not really like bad my family on the other hand um didn't take it so well they were very disappointed and stuff but I mean obviously you know they came around and they're they got excited after a while my dad didn't get excited until Adeline was born but Adeline is a total grandpa's girl now and they're just inseparable favorite thing about being a YouTube mommy um YouTube mommy just such as like being on YouTube as a YouTube mommy um, probably just getting to know everybody that I've gotten to know. I've gotten to know so many mommies through YouTube. Not only YouTubers, but also people who are subscribed to me that are mommies. And just sharing stories with me or telling me about their kids. And I feel like I know a lot of my subscribers and other YouTube mommies just by talking through them. So, talking to them. So, that's really fun. I really like that. Just getting to know new people and stuff like that. If you were to move to a different state, where? Um, state-wise, probably for Florida. That's the only place me and Chris have talked about, or more Chris has talked about, wanting to move to Florida. So, if we were to ever move out of Texas, it would probably be to Florida. Um, if we were to stay in Texas and move, like, out of where I'm at right now, it'd probably be San Antonio or Dallas or something like that, because that's the places that Chris has talked about. Um, I don't know if or when that would ever happen, but... Who knows, it might one day. More children. Do I want more children? I got that asked a lot, just like when the baby number two is coming. Yes, I do want more children. Um, I'm really aiming just for two, so just one more. But maybe three, I don't know. But I really am good with like wanting just two. Um, favorite stroller. I have had a million strollers. If you guys have followed me on YouTube for a while, you know that I have had my good share of strollers. Um... As for favorite, I don't know. I mean, there's so many strollers that I would still like to try. Um, so I can't really say. But out of all the ones we've had, I really like um, the one we currently have, which is the Chico Echo. Um, I really like that one. I like that it reclines. It has a good size umbrella, good size basket underneath. And it, it's comfortable. And we haven't had any problems with it. So that's probably out of all the ones we've had, probably my favorite. Do I ever go out drinking? Um, no, I'm not really a big drinker at all. Chris does not drink at all. Like, he's never had a sip in his whole entire life, and he never will. So he's not a drinker at all. Um, I drink, like, every now and then, but it's not really, like, I don't ever go out drinking. I've never gone out drinking. If I ever do have, like, a drink here and there, it's, like, at a family's barbecue or something like that, and it's, like, very rare 
for me to even have one so I'm not a huge drinker. How long have you lived in Texas? I have lived in Texas my whole entire life. I was born here, raised here, and I'll probably always stay here. The next question is, do y'all plan on getting a house anytime soon? Yes, we want to get a house as soon as we are able to. We are working on our credit because as young adults living on our own and not knowing anything about credit or anything about anything like that, we kind of screwed up our credit so that is kind of one of those live and learn situations and now we're working on bringing our credit back up as soon as we can get our credit back up to where it's good we are going to get a house so we're working on that and we're doing really good at bringing our credit back up so yeah we're eager to hopefully get a house in the next two years hopefully so yeah we're really excited and really hopeful for that to happen soon is how do you manage your oily skin I don't there is just no way to contain all this oil going on in my face it's just crazy out of control and this Texas heat does not help so um, I really have no tips on anything like that if you guys have any tips let me down, know down below because I have not yet found a way to control it I just have to keep uh, sucking or soaking up the oil i just use tissue paper soak it up and then apply a little bit more powder to kind of keep it matte right now it's probably like crazy because we just got back from the store what editing software do you use i just use whatever software came with the computer i think it's microsoft movie maker i believe so nothing fancy money saving tips as far as addy's clothes toys etc as far as addy's clothes like i said i really like shopping at marshall's and that is um, you know they have a bunch of brand name clothes or like a, a bunch of clothes for just cheaper prices so I really like shopping there um, if I'm shopping like at any other store Dillard's uh, Carter's whatever other store I go I always go straight to the clearance so I always go straight shop clearance first and get as much clearance as I can and if I can't find what I'm looking for still then I'll go shop um, like the regular clothing or if I really like something that's you know regular price then I'll get it but I really do like just going straight to the clearance section and shopping there first what made you start YouTube um I don't know I really don't remember um, I think I just started watching other YouTube mommies after Adeline was born I think I started like getting into the whole YouTube mommy world and I decided that it would be fun to be able to um, have a bunch of memories that Adeline can look back on kind of like home movies which is why I started my channel to kind of have those home movies type of feel that Adeline or even we could look back on in the future favorite youtubers um if you guys want I can make a whole separate video on like favorite or like my most watched youtubers of now or like right now um I can do that for you guys I don't remember everybody as like you know like off the top of my head but um, I've seen a lot of people do videos on it so I'll probably just do a video of my favorite youtubers and um, link them all so you guys can check them out because um, that'll be fun does your family watch your channel not that I know of um, my family doesn't know about that I have a YouTube channel at least not to my knowledge um, there's a few people in my family that do know that I have a channel but they don't I don't think they watch it I think they've seen like one video but that's it um, I don't think they like watch it continuously does Addie act out a lot when you're out not really she's actually really well behaved when we're out um, yeah she's like really well behaved every now and then she'll kind of like whine that she wants something but if I can't get her to calm down Chris is the one that handles that because he can get her to behave real quick just by telling her she better just by talking to her and she strains up real quick but she's actually really good while we're out draw my life video yes I have the stuff to do the draw my life video I just have to find a time to sit down and actually write out what I'm going to do like the storyline or whatever and film it so yes I have plans to do the draw my life video hopefully sometime during the beta hopefully um, do you drive yes not I don't drive I know how to drive I've driven before I don't have my license and I don't currently drive so um, that's like a yes no answer um, but I'm hoping to get my license soon I'm just very paranoid about taking that darn driving test who else was with me because I am just so paranoid I'm just I don't know just something about somebody watching everything I do and writing it down on a paper and not talking to me the whole time makes me like so like 
paranoid and just stressed and just, I don't know. How long have you and Chris been together for? We're going on six years this December, so a long time. <laughs> Can you do a Meals of the Week video? Yes probably next week because this week is already like almost halfway over so I can do one of those next week so that'll be pretty fun because I always do toddler meal ideas but I don't do like what we eat during a week video so that'll be kind of cool do I live near the Dallas Houston area um, not necessarily they're like a few hours away more than a few hours away um, yeah so next question is how do you put Addy to sleep so this person um, was asking you know how I put her to sleep because they had trouble getting their child to sleep at a certain time and all that the way we've done it is Adeline has we try to stick to nine o'clock bedtime lately it's been kind of crazy but um, we try to stick to a certain bedtime and she knows we have a routine having a routine is the key to get your children at least in my in my point of view that's kind of like the key to get them to stay in a routine getting them on a routine and keeping them on that routine so that they know when you start doing certain things it's out of the move baby because she's going to jump on your head sorry the cat was about to jump on Adeline's head um yeah so i think having a routine is key to like successfully having a routine so just keeping it up like with Adeline, we if, if it, she needs a bath, she has a bath, um, brush her teeth and everything. She goes potty, and then we go into her room and um, read her a book, either me or Chris. We'll sit there, we'll have a, you know her cup of milk and stuff, and we'll, we'll read her a book, and then you know tuck her in, say her prayers, and then we check for monsters because we have to make sure that there's no monsters in that room, right, Addie? Yeah, we have to check for monsters. She always makes me check for monsters. And then we just tuck her in and say goodnight. And that's pretty much our routine. We just do bed, or no, we do book, bat, or no, bed, bed, brush teeth, book, and then bed. So that's just what we put, do every night. We did put PJs on. We what? Oh yeah, we put her PJs on, yes, of course. Because we can't go to bed without PJs on, right? Yeah. So yeah, so she kind of knows that routine. All right, so I'm gonna hurry up and finish this. I have two more questions because my camera ran out of space and like that just tells you how long this video is. So weekly schedule, Monday through Friday, I obviously watch kids from eight to five and Mondays, Chris has soccer games. So we obviously have that to go to at eight o'clock. Tuesdays, I usually keep the kids a little bit longer till sometimes like eight. Um, as far as cleaning, I just do light cleaning during the week. And then we do our big major cleaning on Saturdays and that's pretty much it I mean I don't really have like such like a schedule schedule I mean if there's like a particular question you have in mind then like let me know and I can like explain that more but as far as like having like a particular schedule it's like kind of like just I have very lenient schedule um, are your sisters twins? No, they're not twins. Um, this was just a comment, but I tried to reply and I couldn't because it didn't have like the replying feature. So if I don't reply to some of your comments, it's not that I'm not trying to reply. Some of you, um, it won't let me reply to your comments. I don't know why. But yeah, one of, just like one of the comments on one of my videos was, are your sisters twins? And I couldn't reply. But no, they're not twins. They are six years apart. I know they look like twins. Believe me, I get them confused all the time, but no, they're not twins. Um, and they get that question asked a lot everywhere we go. So that's all the questions I had. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end it because it's like so long. I'm going to have such a fun time editing this video. So I hope I answered all your questions. If I didn't, then ask them down below and I will reply to your comments. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.